Hi guys, it's been such a long time. What inspired me to make this video was because a girl DM'd me on Instagram and she was just like, Hey Anna, I recently got broken up with, with by this boy and I thought he was gonna get back to get back with me, but he actually leveled up and found a girl that was better, more prettier, more talented than me. And I'm distraught basically, can you please make a video about it? And I was like, bet, let's go. When it comes to glowing up after a breakup, I think that we sometimes get in this mindset that, oh my God, like I have to look better, I need to get skinnier, I need to get hotter, I need to whatever, and they're gonna want you. You have to understand when somebody does not want you in their life, it has nothing to do with how you look. When it comes to getting over somebody, you need to act like they do not exist in your life, in your mind, or ever existed in your life, ever. This is really, really hard, but the way I was able to do this was very tactful. So one, I deleted every memory, every picture, anything I had of this person off my phone. You can choose to block them, but this is for someone that's like truly heartbroken. Um, you got, you ought to get rid of everything because there's no like, oh, we need to slowly like stop talking to each other. We need to slowly stop whatever. No, you need to remove anything associated with that person. So that means his friends, his family members, anything associated with him, please get rid of it because it's going to just hurt you more and bring back memories because the whole point of this is pretending like they never existed. Also, when you're in a relationship, sometimes your identity gets attached to that person. So that is usually what you miss when you get out of a breakup, is that identity that you had. You were a part of a couple, you were part of a partnership. And when you don't have that anymore, you're, you're forced to be by yourself and with your own thoughts. And this can be really hard, especially if you don't have a lot of friends. Your partner was probably someone you went and talked to about everything but you have to really be comfortable with just being by yourself. I personally grew up a lot after my ex because I started embracing things about myself that I just never felt comfortable embracing because I felt like, oh, like he wouldn't like that or his friends would make fun of me about that. That is the first thing you can do is try new things. So try new hairstyles, try maybe new places like a new gym, try new outfit looks, just get into like a new aesthetic, maybe try to rebrand yourself so then whatever type of person you were when you were with that person, you can elevate it to the next level and become a better version of you that you don't even think about wanting to be near that person. When I think about glowing up on somebody, I think of it as you would never even dare to talk to me, so that's how hot or that's how whatever place I need to get is how far I need to take it. So when I started, like I guess, glowing up, I really took my self-care seriously. I took the gym very, very seriously. And I just held myself to such a high standard where I'm like, I like this type of man. And if you're not that type of man, don't talk to me. Like don't don't speak to me, don't talk to me. Like we can be friends, we can be cool, but I'm not I'm not trying to be with you. That's pretty much it. You got to be doing this, this and this for me. You got to be adding to my life and then maybe we can talk about some type of partnership there. But I'm not here for shits and giggles. I'm not here to fuck around because I've been there. I've been that person where I just would like go and like I guess hook up with a guy and that does not help getting over a breakup either i want to emphasize on that getting somebody to distract you from an ex will make you feel very empty so be very strong and do not do that spend time by yourself and i had to realize that the really hard way and it sucks another thing that the girl mentioned was that her um ex's new girl she's more talented than him like talented like the girl's more talented than his old girl aka her and i i didn't know what she meant by that but if if you guys mean like grades or i guess athleticism or ath athleticism athleticism that doesn't really matter like <laughs> that doesn't matter get your education up don't compare yourself with things like that don't compare your looks to another girl because you don't know what she brings into his life and you don't know how long they're gonna be together i used to hate over the type of girl that my ex or a boy i liked would move on to and i not hate but it was more like a obsession i would be like oh my god like 
oh, like why, like what, what does she bring, yada, yada, yada. And that is a very like bad way to move about life because that will eat you up alive. Get the fuck off her page, get her out of your mind because she is not your issue, okay? He is not your issue anymore. You need to leave them the fuck alone. And that is something I had to learn because like coming from like a, a crazy girl myself, when it comes to like a man I love, you got to leave them the fuck alone. You got to get them out of your head. And even with glowing up, you cannot think about it as, oh, like I'm going to glow up so hard on him. He's going to want me back so bad. Like that's killing the purpose of a glow up. Hold on. I need a little drinky drink. But that's killing the whole purpose of a glow up. And I just think that's stupid. But basically, that's my point. Um, I don't know how to make this video longer because I want to have all these points and be like, oh, like, go to the gym, go to that. But that's all for yourself. And I will happily teach you guys all those things. But I think that when it comes to glowing up, when you have the mindset of, I have to make this man jealous of like how I look, men don't think like that. Like if they wanted you because you're hot, they're gonna just have you back, you know what I mean? And there's usually a reason why, but I, I, want, you, I want you guys to glow up and do all these things for yourself for you to never want that person in your life. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want them to think, oh my God, I wish they were in my life. You need to do it for, I hope when they see me, they won't even talk to me because that is how much better I am than them. Like, you have to think like that. And that's why I don't wanna come off and give this advice of like, oh, this is how you're gonna stunt on him and make him so jealous and you're gonna get him to be like, oh baby, I want you back. Like, no, we, if you my ex, I don't want you back. Like, I've done that whole going back to your ex again and again and again. Don't, don't do it. It's silly, it's stupid. There are so many men in the world, and if you think there isn't a lot of men in your in the world, just you wait until college, just you wait until you have a little bit more money in your bank and you can go travel. There are so many men in the world, and there are many options, and the whoever little boy you're talking to at your school, he literally doesn't matter. Like, he's literally, this little boy and whoever makes you feel insecure if that little boy is making you feel insecure about whatever there is a man out there that loves you for everything and more but yeah guys i have missed you guys so freaking much but i will be making more videos for you so just stay tuned i also want to say i cannot believe that we are almost at 40,000 subscribers can we talk about that for a second that is absolutely insane never have I, I never did, did I think that I would get like that far on YouTube and I'm hoping that we just go more and more and we build like this strong community here even though I'm really absent half the time. But I love you guys so much. I see all your comments and I'm gonna go through and reply back. YouTube has been really weird where I couldn't upload properly and I lost all my footage and my uh, and my phone storage and all that stuff. So a bunch of weird things happen, which I will talk about in my life updates video. But um, it was great talking to you guys. I really, really hope that you guys like the advice I give. It might not be like the type that you wanted to hear, but it's healthy advice. And I'm trying to be a healthy person and not be toxic. And I don't want to put out toxic information out there. I just think we are so much better than these bums. We will see you guys soon. Make sure you like and subscribe. And then in the comment section, drop your best breakup advice.